In this Map Suite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how you can use Google Map as a background map. Google Maps is a very popular mapping service, and so Map Suite makes it easy for you to integrate that into your application that you're trying to build. As you can see from by this sample, you can uh, add Google Maps, zoom in, pan around, and then switch between the various types of Google Maps um, map types that Google supports, such as hybrid, satellite, and terrain. This makes it real easy for using this as your base map and then adding other things on top of it that you may want for your own custom application. So with that said, let's go ahead and dig into some of the code to see how you would set something like this up. In this sample, there really is no controller source, so we'll go straight to the view source. In the view source, we have a few things that we should take a look at. First, we've got where we're setting up the map control itself, such as where it is on the page and its size, setting the background, and its current extent. You'll notice that the current extent coordinates are using something different than uh, longitude and latitude coordinates, and this is because uh, Google Maps is in uh, Web Mercator projection. Another thing to notice, know when you're working with Google Maps is that you should always set your map unit to meters, because since it is a web mapping uh, um, background map, you're not able to reproject it. You have to use the projection that Google has set with its, uh, uh, with its map tiles. Finally, we have a few map tools we're setting up, such as the overlay switcher and some mouse coordinates. And then we're adding the Google overlay to the map with this one line of code here and defaulting the map type to normal and then rendering that out to the page. Um, the other code that you may be interested in on this sample are the different buttons that allow you to switch between the, the different types of maps that Google supports, such as the road, aerial, satellite, and physical. If we investigate this a little bit closer, you can see that on the on-click events of these buttons, we're just calling a little JavaScript function called change background map type, and then passing in the type of map that we want, which this is an enumeration of the different types, that, uh, types of map that, that Google supports. Up here is where the, the JavaScript uh, script block is, and all it is doing is calling the set current background map type and passing in the uh, parameter that was passed in this JavaScript function. Now you may ask, well, where is this uh, method call coming from? Well, if you're not familiar with it, with the MVC edition, uh, Map Suite has a whole JavaScript uh, API and reference. So if you install the evaluation edition, you can get access to this uh, reference, and I believe it's also on the wiki for you to look at. And if we look down here, there is um, set current background map type. We can click on that and even get more information about how this uh, Map Suite JavaScript API works. And basically all it does is it goes ahead and switches the background map out between the different various types of your, uh, of your Google Map. So you can do that all client side without having to go back to the server. I hope this walkthrough has been helpful, but please, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or post them to our discussion forums at thankgeo.com slash forums. Thanks for watching.